Okay, I am fully aware that this is another video on the T80 BVM, but I promise I'm not going to make another six more trying to get something changed, okay? This is going to be the last one for a good minute. Now, if you didn't notice, there was a huge significant change up to this vehicle in the latest update, one of which I kind of predicted more or less. I think everyone did for that matter. Uh, and it's something that we wholeheartedly expected and am glad it's finally here and it makes the tank look very pretty. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, you're probably blind. I mean, I am too, but come on, at least I noticed this. Now, here's the one thing, okay? I want to point this out right away that drives me absolutely nuts, right? Take a look at the front of the tank, right? It's pretty symmetrical for the most part. Yeah, relic right here, machine gun right here. Cool, right? And it looks pretty okay from the front. But the moment you go to the back side of this tank, which is always the best part, you'll see... Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so that armor is off center it drives me nuts i understand why i get it but oof that's all i gotta say now if you take a look at the t72b3 look how uniform it is right it just looks so nice and then you look at the bbm oh come on i understand it's not gajin's fault it's it's the russian military's fault you guys oh god don't look at the front of the abrams it's the same thing i promise so anyways, back onto the actual vehicle itself, what really did change? Well, it did get a new module called the additional ERA package. And what this does is it basically adds on a little bit more protection into the dead spaces of the tank or the hugely vulnerable sides of the tank with the addition of some relict as well as some slat armor. Now the slat isn't going to help you too much. It might help you a little bit against heat rounds, but for the most part, your engine's still going to catch on fire. Everything's going to break and you're pretty much dead, right? But here's what it really does. There are some plates back here that protect against 200 millimeters of kinetic protection. That's pretty damn good. 600 against heat. Take a look at heat right here. Another 600. I don't know if these work in tandem. I think they do. But imagine 1,200 millimeters of protection against chemical. The stock tanks will not be able to kill you from the sides, period. But I don't know if they're in tandem or if that's just kind of like 600 in total. Does that make sense? I'm pretty sure it's you know, the prior, not the letter. But anyways, point being is that this does actually protect fairly well against kinetic rounds because what most shells have about 380, 320 at the 60 degree. And if they shoot you from the side right here, you have about 200 plus whatever is behind the tank right here. So it has a very good possibility of protecting you, which has saved my butt a plenty. Now, the downside to this package is it does add a thousand kilograms to the empty mass which means this tank is slightly heavier i think it's 47 tons now so if we go ahead and take a look, take apart the module should show it on the card here 46 tons so you will notice it's a little bit more sluggish when you try to drive this thing but aside from that it's not terrible okay it's not something that's gonna it's make it or break it kind of thing it's still going to be the same 70 kilometers an hour great reverse speed good firepower great protection excellent optics i mean there's this tank is so well rounded it's almost unfair at times but then again, it Germans got a better uh, vertical targeting speed, but that's for a later video. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to go into full detail about this vehicle. It's firepower, it's mobility, it's protection, etc., etc. You guys already know the whole details behind it. If you want to see more about it in, in full detail, I'll have a link to the uh, video up here in a little slider card thingy. I'll edit it a little bit later. I'm telling myself to do that before I forget because I always forget. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out and see whether or not the side relic does help out the vehicle. So let's get started. In truth, I think Gaijin has a really sick sense of humor because this is the second game in a row I got a night game. I left the first one because I, I am not in the mood to play night game. And then the very next game after that crew lock, oh, hey, here's another night game. We thought the first one wasn't good enough, so we're going to give you another one. But you know what? It's in this map. I'll take it at, at least, okay? And yes, I did leave the first game because I really do not like night games. All right, and I'm very public about it. Just saying. And there's the lag spike. Huh? Oh. Oh. That's a rough start. I have no idea where that came from. But I'll tell you what. He was hauling ass. And he's dead now. Was it the same guy? It was. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'll take a flaming butt for, uh, for a good kill. Oh, there's a 122 right here. Just killed a teammate. And he just got shot at? Okay. I've got multiple tanks right in front of me. Teammate right there. Okay, he just shot. 
And I... Oh, I should have aimed for his upper front plates. It is what it is. Go get him. Go get him. Nope. And he messed up his shot. Oh, oh I win. And... Boop. Pop and smoke. I got Abrams behind me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fire. Yes. Woo. I got another one. I don't know how I'm not dead, but I will definitely take that. Not wrong way. Come on. There we go. Armor front. Oh, no. I got a lot of people everywhere. Okay. Ooh, there he is. Oh, I got my tracks. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Come on, fire, 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 fire. Yes. Huh? Oh, we're mixed. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, that works. Wow, that's dumb. I, okay, and his name is Killshot, too. That's ironic, isn't it? Yep. Oh, I might die. We both potatoed. Hey, buddy. What's up, dude? Come on, me. Okay, I gotta move. I can't stay here. I am all alone. I'm the only MBT on the dirt. And we're six kills deep. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, you can have that point, buddy. Another tank to my front right. Got him, too. Oh, Nope. Okay. Gotta move again. How the hell are we doing so good? So I'm currently uh, stuck in Abrams right now. Oh. Oh. You know what? We had a good fight. I'm gonna let this game die. We had a good fight. Ooh. Ooh this is actually a good map for us, too. Good optics, excellent zoom, good thermal sights. Although thermal right now is, is kind of scuffed. I don't know if they balanced it by making it so that burning tanks don't look like... Oh, there's the lag spike again. Uh, so it doesn't look like uh, you can see tanks through debris and through trees and stuff, which doesn't make any sense. It could be a rebalancing or it's broken and Gaijin doesn't really care to fix it quite yet. Is that a... I think I know what that is. Is it, It's got to be an Apache or something. Anyways, let's snipe, yeah? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get the guy in the back. Let's see if we can. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, got his engine. Oh, you're cooking, and you are free range, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, poor thing. Oh, no, poor thing. And give me a shot here. Oh. Poor thing. Ooh, got a hot spot. Uh, well, engine hot spot. Let's try this. Ooh, hoo, hoo, you know what that is. I kind of want to throw a missile at him, but the slat armor has been proven to be really, really good as of late. But it doesn't matter anymore. And the guy's name is Pine Soul. <laughs> That's what my mother uses to mop the floors. <laughs> huh. Mm, I've been kind of sitting here for a hot minute and uh, I just I don't want to stay here for too long so let's see if I can find some other poor soul to snipe because we have a currently although our teammate just died on the point no he just popped smoke nope there is definitely someone yep there is definitely someone there by the way do yourself a favor when you're sniping reset your optic okay because I I've made that mistake a plenty where I overshoot my target I hear him I hear two of them. Good on him for popping smoke. Oh. Got his gunner breach. Hey, buddy. You want know to waste you real quick? And then... Okay, he doesn't see me. I see you, though. There he is. Got his gunner. Commander track. He's a... Third one. Go and just waste them real quick. So there is right in front of me. Come on fire. Oh. 
Whew, man, BBMs, dude. They do not joke around with firepower. I'm telling you now. Uh, I'm talking to a, a friend, by the way. <laughs> He's a FFG. He runs esports stuff in War Thunder. He, he's a great guy. Just kind of giving each other crap right now. There is an Abrams right in front of me. Correction. There was one in front of me. But anyways, FFG, I know you watch these videos, man. How you doing? <laughs> oh. oh. Hold up. Okay, I had to waste him first. He had someone right there. Okay. He tracked us. Okay, I got one shot, and I got a better reload than him. Okay. Ooh. I try to use the tree to kind of block each of us, and there goes my breach. So, you know what that means, right? I'm gonna die now. I mean, am I? <laughs> I'm, I'm probably gonna die. I got two people shooting me right now. There it is. Nice. Oh, you... Oh, you cheeky. Freaky. Good hit, little man. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Yeah, yeah, little Tam. Don't you do it, buddy. Come on, I got seven seconds on the repair here. Uh, he's gonna try three, two... Yeah, he can't, huh? <laughs> yeah. I got you. Boop. Yeah, I've got you. Uh, nice try. Thanks for knocking on my neck, though. I got here another vehicle right behind me. I think I hear multiple. Or it might be friendly. Any rooms to my right? Heard an Abrams to my right? All right, let's go take Bravo now. I just didn't want anything right behind me like that. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been a bad time. I'm going to pop smoke while I'm at it. I heard Abrams to my left again. I'm leaving Bravo to my teammates. Man, that engine is so loud, isn't it? Yeah, we should be coming up behind him unless he is fully aware of our location. Which he might be, actually. No, 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 no. He's right up this road. I... Oh, no. Nope, there's one of them. Oh, no. There might be one in front of me coming up shortly. There's one. Men are going to track. Should be the kill shot. And boop. And there's another one right there, and he's got some shiny eyes. <laughs> yeah, I see you there, buddy. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Oh, that works. <laughs> Gotta be faster on that trigger finger, buddy. Oh, I'm dead. Oof. Wow, nice play, buddy. Well done. Yeah. Can't say I'm uh, quite the fan of this map, <laughs> to be honest. At least this version of it. This map isn't terrible, but this one is just eh. Although it is a little bit more suited towards the high tier engagements, which is fine. But we'll see how this goes. By the way, there's a helicopter over here, and I want to get him. There you are, little Abrams. Got your barrel. <laughs> All right, he popped smoke. Uh, he's pulling back a little bit. Let's use this opportunity to kind of move forward and uh, wipe out whoever's over here and then push up into A. There you are. Gotcha. Oh, it was an IPM1. I thought I recognized that skin and that, you know, shrink, uh, shrimpy barrel. <laughs> All right, let's go to A and take it, and then uh, I guess kind of head over to B and see what we can do. Oh. Actually, that was supposed to be a jump cut, but I guess there's uh, somebody they hit up up here. There he is. We're going to BBM. I'll do it. Got him. Go in front. Oh. I mean, I just saw his deck right here and thought his turret's got to be over here somewhere, and uh, apparently it worked out. And there's a second one front. There's a third one front. There's multiple. Gotcha. It's TBL. Got his barrel breach. Come on. There we go. Go ahead and waste him really quick. He bounced. 
And he's dead. Very nice. It was an M1A1 too. If that was the uh, A1 model of the Sable round, I probably would have lost that fight. Oh, I hear him. Really? <laughs> uh, oh no, he can't do, he can't shoot me. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> Someone from the right shot me, I think. I think maybe they got him though. That's weird, I'm going to pop smoke. I don't like this spot. A few moments later. Yeah, these, uh, these games seem to be going pretty quick, to be honest. And um, here's the current tally. Yeah, just... I, I guess either I'm getting really lucky with these games or these are all paid actors. I have no idea, but we're getting some pretty damn good footage. <laughs> so I just can't get enough for a nuke. All right, well, if this happens to be uneventful, we're gonna do a jump cut to the next clip. Oh. 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 Well, jump cut didn't last too long. There's two of them. Excuse me, gentlemen. Ah. It was the ADATs, it was their final stand. And the 2S6 ended up killing them too. Well, now this is the spawn pushing. This is the only time you can justify it. Just saying. So let's end this game. There's our last one. Sorry, little man. Got your gunner breach. Oh no, he's gonna pop smoke too. Poor thing. Unless he pivots and leaves. Guys, there's an example right there. Please don't pop smoke when you're in the middle of right there. Just if you know, even though you have no breach or anything, pop smoke, pivot away. Move away. Just don't stay in the same place like he did. All right, life lesson number 376. Now let's go ahead and get to the next clip, yeah, because this game's over. The rare Yeti playing Russia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> me. You know, it's us versus everyone, right? Yep. Yeah, we're, we're still probably going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Well, since you showed me this position, I go in here and cap. Right? It's so nice. Hey, I got a couple of Abrams over here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, they're... Yeah, they're definitely in here. I hear them. I think one's coming out this way. There he is. Ah! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Jumped through the building. Another one. And right side, apparently. But... I'm not focused on that. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, I'm hit. I'm hit. I got his gunner engine. Everything. You got him? I got him. Got him. Yeah, I, I took his soul. Watch. Uh. Oh, your engine is so loud. I can't hear anything around me. I'm not even accelerating. That's the TADU behind us. Yeah, it's so loud. I hear an Abrams. Left side. Somewhere on the left. Yep, see him. I missed. He's coming this way now. You got him? I missed. I Wait, got you... only the driver. Oh, oh. Oh. Ooh. You okay? Because I got him. Behind us. I hear another one behind us. It's amazing how their audio just cuts right through uh, our engine, you know? Going around this way. You okay? One more. Yeah, I got the 285. Right in front of me. Another one this way. I got one more coming this way. I got his gunner loader track. I'm boned. Am I coming up behind him? No, I got him. I don't know why I didn't shoot, but I got him. Yeah, you were coming up right behind him too. <laughs> hey, follow me in this way, would you? Oh, there is one. Well, it's not the Abrams I was hearing. Oh, hear him front left. there's the Abrams I'm hearing. He's over to my front right. And on the other side of this. Copy, you want to go deal with them? Hold on. Let me get around. There he is. Oh, <laughs> snapshot. Oh, <my> <laughs> 
<laughs> that works too. Oh, my ears. Oh, his soul just left his tank. <laughs> There's a striker somewhere behind us, I guess. Is there? Or All right. Charlie or at Charlie. Maybe. Uh, well, that, that's such a vague, broad description. Sure. I don't know where Oh, he's dead is. now. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. He has no engine anymore. Yeti. Yeti, are you bowling? Am I going to come over there and yoink the kill from you? I can right now. <laughs> I just wanted to... I had a shot on him in the back of his turret. I could have killed him before you killed him. Yeah, I just wanted to be mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Should have HE'd him then. Oh? No, that's way sick. Oh! Wait, oh, no, you, buddy! Yeah, front left, front left, 9 o'clock. Up the hill. He's dead. So there it is. And in truth, there really isn't anything to say about this because, yeah, it's still the same T-80 BVM as we've all come to know and love and even possibly hate, depending on what nation you play. And having this extra kit added onto it does help it out, in my opinion, fairly tremendously, okay? Normally, side shots in this thing, even angle shots like this, would be the absolute demise for this vehicle. But that's just not so much the case. I mean... Yeah, it's still a Russian-style tank, meaning that it's, it's going to blow up if you shoot in the center, pretty much. But this is absurdly powerful for what it is. Now, if you're familiar with the T-72B3, of course, it has the same thing, and it makes it just that much more survivable. But for the most part, more experienced players will know exactly where to hit you. I mean, the driver's port, the lower glazes, which, of course, is covered by these mud flaps, which tends to keep your opponents more or less guessing, not so much, but just enough to give you a brief moment to either retaliate or otherwise get away from a certain position. But again, experienced players will know exactly what they are doing. To those who don't, it's kind of a yike situation. And to those who are stock grinding with that god-awful heat at fest NATO has right now, good luck. I mean, you're not going to kill this thing from the side. I mean, there's just so much armor, slat armor, maybe the engine area, but for the most part, just the amount of armor this vehicle has or ERA uh, against heat is just absolutely absurd. I'm sorry to those who have to fight this thing consistently. I, I know. <laughs> Anyways, that's all there is to it, to be honest. This was just straight gameplay of the T-80 BVM. Nothing really different about it aside from the armor package. Still plays the same, still handles the same, still a fantastic vehicle, still one of my personal favorites. And that's where I kind of leave it off to you guys. What do you think about the new armor package? Was it necessary? Was it not? I mean, I actually didn't even answer that. I, I didn't think it was necessary, but it looks nice. You know, it really makes the tank look modern and aggressive and very, very mean looking, but that's just me. But I want to know exactly what you think. Feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe go on Twitter and at me. Let me know publicly, perhaps even come to my Discord and come into the uh, general chat. I like to hang out in there myself all the time. And uh, you'll find me in there kind of just, you know, talking about being myself, as I guess. <laughs> so... With all that being said, all the links for everything will be dropped down below in the description. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, while you're down there, feel free to check out my live streams over on Twitch. The link is also down there as well. Uh, I will be streaming pretty much every single day um, until I, I guess I change my schedule or get bored. So feel free to check that out for sure. And I hope you guys did enjoy everything. And as always, I will see you not only in the next video or even those streams, but in War Thunder itself. Until next time.